Before we start the video, it's time for the KOG boy roll call. This is for all the people who are supporting me as a KOG member of the month, and I appreciate ya. So big shout out to Ryan McDonough, Kato Senpai, and Apple, aka Donjay. You guys are awesome, just saying. How's it going guys, RNG Life here, and today we're doing something a bit different. Now I have all my dream tickets, I've never, I think I only used one in my like history of Duel Links. So I've saved up all my dream tickets, and I'm going to be using them today, and this could be a pretty good uh, a way for people that don't know how to spend their dream tickets and whatever, to kind of get an idea on how to spend them, if you guys already don't know. I have quite a few dream tickets. I have, right off the bat, you see these three, and uh, another thing that you might notice about some of these cards is that they're expiring pretty soon. They're, they're expiring, like, in a few days, so I wanted to save this for, like, around this time, because... They're almost expired. I hope you guys aren't watching this too late, in which case they already expired. Uh, in that case, why don't you guys hit the bell, dude? You should have hit the bell. You would have known, and you would have been able to spend your dream tickets, uh, implying that you haven't already spent them. <laughs> but whatever. So, uh, we have these three UR dream tickets, and then aside from that, we have a whole bunch of other garbage. And then we have the newer ones. The new UR glossy dream ticket, and the new SR dream ticket. Uh, so, those are there. And aside from that, we just got a bunch of other stuff. Let's go ahead and get things started. I'm going to go for the older tickets because they're about to go bad. So let's go ahead and check these out. Uh, there's a lot of really, really good cards that you want to pick up with these. Since this is picking up any UR card from an older, older set, uh, you're going to want to use it on your staples. If you guys don't have your Kanadias, your Drownings, Floodgates, yeah, this is true. These cards are very, very worth it. Uh, Karibo, he's still pretty good. But Kiteroid kind of makes Karibo a little bit obsolete. Uh, but I can still see Karibo seeing some play. Uh, just depends. <laughs> but I, I, but yeah, I think Kiteroid does make Karibo obsolete. So he's not your first pick anymore. Uh, I don't know why they put these two up here, to be honest. I mean, Galaxy Cyclone, pretty good choice. But to be honest, I think Cosmic Cyclone is way better. I need to be here. Uh, Cosmic Cyclone is another card that I almost guarantee that you should pick up if you do not have. This card is used in a lot of meta decks. It's, it's in the high tier play. So if my first pick, if you guys don't have it, pick up Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, if you do have it, pick up uh, Kanadia or something like that. Pick up Kanadia if you have that. Pick up maybe a Drowning or one of these other cards. They're they're also pretty good. Now uh, that is that is uh, the staple. Staples aside, you're probably gonna want to do this. I have a list of cards that I do not have that many copies of because I organize this by number owned and then I go from like top to bottom or whatever, bottom to top. The, the cards that I own the least of. Now, if you want to go over the ones that I own the most of, I have 22 copies of U Bell, which is interesting uh, because I farmed U Bell a lot. <laughs> trying to get them glossy cards uh so yeah so we got cards over here that i have zero copies of cards that you might want to pick up you're like oh i've never had a, oh, an actuator i should probably pick up extra actually don't don't ever <laughs> don't ever pick up actuator dude oh one thing i can easily see myself picking up is probably the archfiend emperor because i only have one copy of there's a few types of players uh one of them is the meta try hard players in which case you're gonna need to pull up this uh dual links meta tier list uh, you're going to see the top decks. You're going to be like, okay, Dark Magician, Shiranui. Uh, all right, I'm going to spend my dream tickets on Dark Magician cards and Shiranui cards. Uh, implying that you actually can. Not on this old one, but I don't know about the newer one. Uh, but yeah, like Black Wings, Dark Lords, Element Sabers. Uh, I don't think there's any Element Saber things you can pick up as well, even in the newer ones. So yeah, but things you can pick up actually are, are you can get some Dark Lord support but uh, and Black Wing stuff. So I don't know, maybe save that for your other dream tickets and whatever some people can look at these say okay i'm gonna try to pick up some support for these decks but sometimes those decks kind of go obsolete and then you just wasted your dream ticket on a, a support for a deck that you're not going to be playing anymore which or an obsolete deck in which case i say go for the heart pick up a, a like if you have a favorite deck for example you really really like blue eyes you like blue eyes you bought the structure deck you just don't have the box support for blue eyes in which case i would say hey man look at look through the box see if you have any any support that might fit blue eyes in any way and then use it that way um maybe like the, the new white stone silver's cry stuff like that uh this is probably not gonna be in this box but yeah you know what i mean this because i'm looking at some old stuff right now uh but yeah that's that's what i would recommend 
Another one is for people that like to meme around with decks, which is kind of what my territory is, uh, where you think, okay, what deck is used a lot in a lot of meme decks? Uh, one of them would be, to be honest, I think like Into the Void. Uh, Into the Void would be a really good choice. Uh, also, Into the Void is just, is just like, it's a really, really good card for like, just messing around and OTKing your opponent. I think it's a really, really fun card. I might actually pick up an Into the Void. Cards that could be useful, like Gishki Chain, I think could still be uh, pretty, pretty good. Um, especially because we might be getting uh, Necroz in the future at some point. I don't know when, but we could be getting Necroz and that could be pretty interesting. So yeah, I think like Gishki Chain, pretty cool card to pick up. Uh, I personally do like Gemini Spark and playing it in a Gemini deck. Unfortunately, Geminis have just completely fallen off the meta, but I think it's a really, really fun deck. So if I had more copies of Gemini Spark, I would probably like playing some Geminis. Uh, there's a lot of things that I would uh, consider picking up, but in this situation, I think I might actually just go for Into the Void. I mean, you can keep going, you can keep looking down uh, like some support. By the way, guys, don't ever pick cards from structure decks. I will say that. That is a tip to all you, you players. Uh, don't ever pick cards that you can buy in a structure deck. It is not worth it. Straight up main box cards are really, really good and they're really worth it. So, yeah, uh, we're going to keep going. I think out of all that, like, ooh, a, a Dark Paladin, if you want to play some Dark Magician, dude, if you don't have him. He's pretty good too. But well, Treeborn Frog, I'm okay with him at two. I, I don't really need him at three. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a choice. I honestly do like Into the Void. So let's go ahead and pick that. All right, next up, we got this one, the DSOD whatever one. Uh, here is where it gets a little bit more interesting. This is, this is a good example of like, hey, do you like playing Dark Magicians? BAM! You like playing Blue Eyes? BAM! You got your White Stone over here and you got your Magician's Navigation. These are really, really good choices. Not even gonna lie. Honestly, I would almost I come I almost want to pick up a uh, white stone with the ancients uh, Because this card is just really really good I foresee blue eyes kind of coming back potentially uh, because we don't have all the blue eyes support when we get more blue eyes support I think this card is just gonna be a lot better. So yeah, that's a thing that I would consider um, You're gonna play some red eyes dude black metal dragon is where it's at uh, for example looking at the actual uh, Dual links meta tier list uh, you got things like maybe black wings dark lords elements some tier two decks if you want to play a really really good deck maybe you almost have these decks um all right let's, let's see what we got black wings uh let's let's go ahead and do this let's go uh Budakuing. all right so black w bam pick up your third copy of uh black whirlwind or first or second or whatever you're gonna want black whirlwind dude this card is really really good for black wings i don't recommend bora as much because the rare card is pretty much better than him i think so i, I really really think black whirlwind is way better Dark Lords, so let's go ahead and see what we can pick up for Dark Lords. And this one, we got nothing, so absolutely rip, dude. Uh, and I think it's because it's an older thing, so yeah. Element Sabers, I don't think you're going to find anything for Element Sabers, so rip rip right there. So yeah, uh, this can be used to pick up some Blackwing support, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so what would I pick up, though, in this situation, since I'm missing certain cards? I honestly, Black Metal Dragon, since we're getting Joey... I mean, Black Metal Dragon could be pretty good. This is cool, dude. I, I don't know. Uh, luckily, I already have three copies of Magician's Navigation. Otherwise, I would have picked this up 100% because Dark Magician is apparently tier one. So it would be a really good deck. It's a really good time to pick it up, even though it might get hit in the future. So watch out with that. Um, that is implying that you have all your copies of uh, Magician's Circle. So yeah, good luck with that, dude. Uh, all in all, I think if you want to aim for the meta, pick up Black Whirlwind, pick up M Navigation, uh, maybe maybe these cards. I, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm going to go with my gut, and I'm going to say Black Metal Dragon is where it's at. Uh, even though Red Eyes is just kind of obscure, kind of not that played, but it's still a pretty good choice. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my Black Metal Dragon. But hey, it doesn't end here. We still got quite a few tickets to go through. So, uh, for this one, we have stuff like um, White Stone of the Ancients. I can still pick that up, so that's pretty nice. You get your one copy of Blackwing Dragon. That's pretty decent. Uh, I can get a second copy, and then I can actually use it in a, like a meme deck that I'm thinking of. Gozuki is one of those cards, and it's just like... It, it's, it's really, really good, and it's being used at 3 in Shiranui, so... Maybe, maybe you want to pick up a Gozuki, dude. Uh, even though Gozuki can be replaced with Samurai Skull. So that's why I'm just like, I'm not that like uh, gung-ho to pick that one up. Uh, if anything, I'm definitely eyeing that White Stone of the Ancients. 
Anki, I kind of want my third Anki. This was been this has been my thing for a while. I have wanted to spend my dream ticket on a third Anki because it's just that good, dude. It's a really really good card. It gets you the OTKs. Um, and mass heroes, every once in a while, you'll see them, dude. You'll see them just kind of wrecking. So I think that could be pretty pretty interesting as well. I would be down to get an uh, Anki. I think White Stone of the Ancients is a really good choice. It is recommended, and it's, it's just a really, really good card. I think Blue Eyes are going to see play in the future again. And it's just going to be a really, really good card to have at three. So uh, White Stone of the Ancients, it is. I'm picking that thing up. So let's go ahead and get it. And now we are moving on to the actual, the newer ones. The one, the time that you've all been waiting for. You guys didn't make it to the end. Well, screw you guys then. Uh, but hey, they're not here to get insulted. So, ha ha! Get wrecked, people who left the video early. All right, so let's see what we got now. Um, let's see. So now we have all the new stuff. The new, the good stuff. All right, so let's see what we can pick up. And this, I might recommend you look for, like, some meta. Uh, do, do they have Alistair, dude? Uh, I don't know if they... I don't think they do. No, no Alistair. No Element Saber. Wait, Invoked? No Invoked. Oh, you know what? A, what is a really, really good choice? Uh, your Dark Lord stuff. Um, Dark Lords, bam, dude, pick up Banishment. I have to say, Banishment, one of your best choices. Uh, I have it at three already, so I don't really need it. Honestly, I, I might want to pick up Anki. <laughs> I might want to pick up Anki, dude. This card is really, really good, and just, I want to play some heroes out of nowhere, dude. I'm going to pick up Anki, and that's going to be my glossy, uh, UR Dream Ticket right there. And now for the last one, we got the SR Dream Ticket. Now, here's the thing. I got beef with this one because Konami, for whatever reason, said recommended for beginners, and they put Dragon Spirit of White up here. How dare you, Konami, put this up here? You guys are actual, like, scumbags for doing this. This is a structure deck card that you get. You get two copies of this if you if you pick up a structure deck. I'm not kidding. You, you get, like, two copies of this. This is why I have four. I've only bought two copies of the Blue Eye structure deck, and I have four copies of this because you get two of them per structure deck. So this would mean that they're they're trying to debate people to waste their dream ticket on a card that you can get for, like, five to six bucks. And I, I highly recommend you just spend five, six bucks and not... And, and pick this up if you want to do that get get the blue eye structure deck uh and you'll end up with four copies dude look at that i bought two copies of the structure deck that means i only spent like five bucks dude i think on the whole deck and i also use my gems so i have a dragon spirit of what <laughs> and why are they recommending it dude one thing i will say if you don't have to treach this is your first choice treacherous is where it's at it's the best card uh so hands down out of all the srs treacherous is probably the best choice staple wise treacherous it is uh second good staple probably wall of d wall of d is another really good uh, staple card to pick up um other cards that are uh, in here let's see i think i remember seeing one earlier that was really really good ah yes uh now you can actually look and and uh check your stuff uh since we got dragoonity so you can actually pick up some good dragoonity support like you can get your ducks you can get your gay derg uh you can get quite a few things probably that ducks dude uh, so it look, looks like you got some options for the SR Dream Ticket. Uh, for Dark Lords, I'm pretty sure we're going to have our Whammon over here. Bam! Pick up Eshell, dude. She is amazing if you want to play some meta decks, dude. If you want to play some competitive decks, pick up Eshell. She's really, really good. I think that's pretty much it for the meta meta choices. You got your Eshell, you got those kind of picks, uh, whatever. Uh, so yeah, as for the things that I can actually pick right now, I can get another Komushroom, though. That wouldn't be too bad. Also, it would kind of make me not go into the into the uh, box where this guy's at. I think he's a... I'm not sure. I think he's... Is he a mini box? He might be in a mini box. So I don't know why I only have one copy. Uh, I just got really unlucky, I guess, with him. So rip. Citadel Whale is pretty good, too. Oh, you got your Smiger. You can actually play some Crystrons right now. So that's pretty pretty cool as well. I mean, if you really need your Dark Lord Desire, there it is. You can pick that up. Oh, I can pick up my third copy of Origin, dude. I kind of want an origin, but the thing is, I think this is from a mini box. So at the same time, I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to spend it on origin. This is my choice, dude. I'm going to the Vendred box and I'm going to go for a nice skip. Let's pull 10 cards. And did we get our thing? We got Vipers. We got this. And we got a Plague Spider at four. This is my third. And this is my fifth. I'm going to go ahead and say reopen this boy, dude. I don't need these cards. I really want that origin. So let's go ahead and reopen it. And uh, let's see what we got. Probably some garbage. <laughs> let's see if we actually do worse. Uh, hey, we got it. We don't have to spend our ticket now. 
Hey, that's worth it, dude. That is completely worth it. Alright, so now I don't have to spend my ticket on it, so let's go ahead and pick up something that I actually want. Alright, so let's see what we're gonna pick up, dude. I might want that mushroom because reasons, eh, it could be pretty good for a meme deck or so. I can go for a third copy of Fortune Lady Pass, which I don't know if Fortune Lady is gonna be seeing more play, but honestly, Fortune Lady Pass is just a really good card to have at three if you want to play Fortune Lady Every, who is a, just a super strong boss monster. She's really, really OP. Uh, but I want to play some Eato's decks uh, as well. So honestly, I think it might come down to Fortune Lady Pass. I kind of want that card. It's a really, really good choice. Um, so yeah, I think now that we've already did our thing. Ooh, dude, I can get a third copy of Magical Hats though. Dude, if you want, if you're talking about meme right now, I love memeing with Magical Hats. Magical Hats is where is it? Dude, you know what? Screw it. We're going Magical Hats on this one. In the end, I've chosen to meme as hard as possible, and I'm choosing Magical Hats. So let's go ahead and conclude this video. I picked Magical Hats. I don't know. Let me know if you guys actually enjoyed the whole Dream Ticket thing. I think it'd be interesting to go into, like, to do more stuff like this for no reason. Maybe I don't know what to do, and I just, like, I'm like, all right, you know what? Let's, let's, let's just pick up some cards right now. This is how I spend my normal tickets. <laughs> But whatever, uh, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found that insightful to uh, kind of lead you to a, the, your correct option. There is no correct option. There is your correct path, your correct option for picking up a dream ticket or card. Uh, there's definitely some wrong choices, though. Don't pick up cards from structure decks, dude. They're not worth it. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much that. Let me know if you what you guys picked in the comment section below. I'm actually really hyped to see what you guys picked. Uh, but whatever, that's pretty much that. And if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe for more dueling shenanigans. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Have a great day, and see you.